Hey students and parents, this week for math, we're gonna be talking about how to find the volume of a cylinder. So we're talking about cylinders this time. How much space is inside that cylinder? And what is a cylinder? It's a right prism with circular bases, like a can. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna calculate the area of the base and then multiply that times the height. If you look at the pictures on the bottom, if we took this can or cylinder apart, we would have a perfect rectangle with two circular pieces. So now that we know the parts of the cylinder, now we're gonna talk about formulas. Formulas are really useful in math. We're gonna look at the formula to calculate the volume of a cylinder. So here's the formula for volume of a cylinder. Here's how we calculate it. So here's the formula for volume of a cylinder. Let's look at the parts. One of the parts is the height of the cylinder. We're gonna multiply that times the radius of the circle squared. The radius of the circle is halfway across the diameter. Next, we're gonna multiply that times this symbol, which is the symbol for pi. So let's talk about this little symbol called pi. As you can see, pi is a pretty complicated number. We're gonna shorten it down to the first three numbers there, 3.14. This is a value we use for all kinds of calculations and formulas having to do with circles. If you're using a calculator for your formulas with circles, your calculator may have the pi button on it. Oh, no, not that button. Although I wish I had a button that I could get pi with. The button on the calculator would look like this. So let's go back to the formula. If we multiply our three values together, we'll get our answer for volume. Let's try an example. In this example, it says, for well, the cylinder shown, find the volume. First, we're given the height, which is four centimeters. We're gonna plug that four into our formula. Next, we have the value of three centimeters for our radius. We'll plug that three into the formula. The last step would be multiplying all these numbers together. So we would have pi times three squared times four. If we multiply these all together, we get a value of 36 pi. And if we multiplied 36 times pi, or 3.14, we'd get a final value of 113.04 centimeters squared for the volume of this cylinder. Let's look at another example of a cylinder and find the volume for it. In this example, our cylinder has a height of five feet. We're gonna plug that five into our formula. Next, it says our radius is six feet. We'll plug that six into our formula as well. If we multiply the radius squared times the height times pi, we'd have 3.14 times 6 squared times 5. If we do this in our calculator, we'll get a value of 565.2 square feet for the volume of this cylinder. So we went over the parts of a cylinder, the formula to find the volume of the cylinder, and went over some examples. I'll be posting some practice pages for you guys to work on, as well as some slides to look at. If you want any more information, let me know, and I'll post that as well. And if you'd like to Zoom, just click the link to Schoology.